Hello guys, I'm coming back tonight. I just made a little video. At the beginning, you're going to see that my windows were shot out today. I don't know who it was. I was sitting in my bed today, minding my business. And all of a sudden, I heard a lot of shooting out. And I don't know where it was coming from. I don't know if it was in a... It had to be somewhere up in here. In my neighborhood. This is a quiet neighborhood. Nothing but old folks stay in my neighborhood. And these little young folks coming around and stuff. And acting a fool. And I did not know that. I heard a lot of boom, 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 boom. I, I didn't know what, what it was. I thought it was firecrackers or a gun. So I asked... I'm tired because I took my arthritis pill and it's kind of making me sleepy. So right now I'm trying to fight my sleep. And and uh, so I went in there after, after me and my dogs. We we uh, I didn't jump up or nothing. I just my head just popped up in in, in the air because I heard all that loud boom noise. And my my dogs got scared and I got scared. So I had went into my son's room, Derry's room, and asked him. I didn't know he was sleeping. I asked him, did he hear that noise? Was it a firecracker or gunshots? He said he don't know. So, I came back in my room, and I guess I was getting sleepy from my arth from the arthritis pill. So, I closed my eyes for a second, and I opened it back up, and I saw my monitor, and I saw my package was out there. So, whew. So, uh... I went outside and got the package. And I saw two police cars. They were blocking out my, our street, my street off. And so two police cars and stuff. And I said, I guess it was some shooting going on. I said, boy. So I came on back in the house. I brought the package back to my bedroom. And I got the scissors and opened my, my stuff up. And I got my stuff out of it. And then I was finna go in the kitchen and throw the box away. You guys. And then that's when I stepped on. This hard thing that was on my floor by my in my hallway, in my kitchen hallway. And I picked it up. I didn't know what it was. I said, What the hell is this? So I turned the hallway light on and I looked around to make sure see to see where it came from. I didn't see nothing in the hallway and I didn't think about the kitchen. So I, I threw the box away and I held it in my hand. I, it, I threw it in the garbage can, but something told me to get it back out the garbage can. So I got it back out the garbage can and I got me something to eat. I got me some cereals to eat. And uh, so I brought the, the bullet back in my house, my, in my bedroom. I ate the food and stuff, and then I went into my son's room and I asked him, "Is this?" I asked Ladera, "Is this a bullet or what?" He said, "Yeah, ma. What, where you getting it?" I said, "In the hallway, next to the kitchen." And uh, so he got up, he turned the hallway light on. We didn't see it was no holes, nothing there, nowhere in there. So when he got in the kitchen and he looked at the uh. He looked at the uh the shade on the window on the kitchen window, it had a uh hole in it. He's and he raised it up and he said, "This is where it came from, ma, through your window. This bulb, this bullet came through your window when they was shooting." And then I looked to see why it, he said it must have ricocheted out of the kitchen onto the floor. So it came through. I got double windows in my kitchen. I got double windows all through the house. All my windows are doubled. It's two windows instead of one. And uh, so, it came through those windows, and it hit my refrigerator because my refrigerator is right there at the door in the hall, right there. So when you come in the uh, kitchen, there go my refrigerator right there. So it hit my refrigerator and and it put a dent in it, and it bounced off and hit the floor. I thank God, you guys, that I didn't go back in the kitchen because of my arthritis and my knee was hurting today. After I had. Did those, uh, I cooked, I, well, I didn't cook, I, uh, seasoned all the, the meat and stuff for tomorrow for, for the, uh, the grill. And I made the devil eggs and stuff. So I was, and I did my workout, so I was on my feet a lot today. And that arthritis kind of bothered me, so I went and laid down. I just thank God I didn't get back up. And I, and I thought about it, I said, Lord, let me go check on De Justin. So me and Ladarius ran back there to Justin's room and banged on his door. He came out. He was fine. I checked his body and stuff. He was okay. I said, thank you, Jesus. Oh, you guys, you guys, you just don't know. This stuff can trick up my illness real bad. 
it has trickled my illness. I've been praying, and I've been praying, and I'm scared because one of us could have been dead. And I thank God that there ain't nobody dead in this house. I thank God that God been watching over me. And I praised him all night, all day today. I called the pol I called the police. Darius told me to call the police first and put the report in and then call my rent folks and let them know that send a maintenance person out to fix my window and stuff. So I did that why um the police that was already in the neighborhood checking out looking for the guys and stuff. And I pray to God they find them and lock them up. And and uh so whew, I haven't cried enough today. I don't want to cry no more. I'm scared to sleep in my bed, you guys. I'm scared to sleep in my bed. Tonight I told my because I called, I called Jason and I told him. So they gave him a report and everything. They said the detective's gonna call me, so he'll probably call me sometime this week and everything. I'm sleeping on the floor tonight, you guys. I'm sleeping on the floor because I'm scared to sleep in my own bed. You just don't know what's going on in my head right now. It's just so much stuff going through my head. And then, uh, my, uh, Kayla's mama called and asked, can we, uh, can we, uh, can she come over here? So, I, I'm blessed that she over here. And, but I'm glad she wasn't here when that shooting had came and stuff. Because I'd be no good now, you guys. I would be no good. I'm already no good as it is now. I'm scared. Because my neighborhood is so quiet and stuff. And I don't know why will somebody want to come on this street and act a fool. It's crazy out here. This world is so crazy. And I'm just scared for my, my family. I'm scared for myself. I'm scared to walk out my door now because I don't know. I'm already be scared to walk out and go to the grocery stores and stuff because these folks are so crazy. They drive crazy. They they stupid. Why? I just don't know. I'm just scared, you guys. I'm scared. And I just want y'all to pray for me. Because I don't want nothing to happen to my family. I really don't. And I don't want nothing to happen to me. But it's stupid. It's real stupid. This world, this world is just, I don't, I just, that's why I just say pray up. Just y'all just pray every day when you wake up. Pray before you go to bed. Pray before you wake up. When you wake up, just thank the Lord for everything. And whew, I'm tired, you guys. I'm tired. I'm just going to, I'll talk to you guys later. I had another, I wanted to do another video today, but. The arthritis started acting up, and then now this right here. So, I might blog tomorrow. I see I can go live now. I can go live on my uh on my uh laptop on my phone now. I I don't know what I I get. I don't know how that happened, but I can go live. I might go live. I don't know. I'm gonna, I said I'm gonna start going live and everything and talking to you guys. But this right here just shook me up real bad, you guys. It has shook me up a lot. And I got to find me some, go up in my attic and give me some more blankets. Because Miss Sonya is sleeping on the floor tonight or in the living room on my couch. I'm sleeping somewhere that I can feel safe at. Because I don't feel safe right now. This, this, my house was my safe place. Now somebody shot in it. Because they shooting at somebody else and a straight bullet just came in my house. And I don't feel safe here no more. I don't. This was my bubble. My home was my bubble. And somebody just shot up in my bubble and scared the daylights out of me. Because they shooting at somebody else. And that bullet came into my house. So I don't feel safe in my home no more. I don't know where I can feel safe at and protect it. But the Lord, he protecting us because he didn't let us go in that kitchen. 
But I'll talk to you guys later. And I hope you guys have a blessed night. I'm going to try. I'm going to go and, and uh, give me some blankets. And make a pallet on my floor. And turn the fan on and try to get some sleep. I might get some sleep tonight. I might not. But I got to feel better for tomorrow because Kayla over here. And I want her to have her little Easter egg hunt. I gave her her Easter basket tonight. She love it. So I talk to you guys later. Just pray for me, you guys. Just please pray for me. And everybody else, pray. Just pray. Because that's the only thing we can do now is pray. So you, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.